Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about some cell phone bill secrets. But first, New York is in stage two of reopening, which means that we can legally get back together again and make videos, as long as we wear masks. So, please bear with us. Let's talk about some cell phone bill secrets. So the first one is activation fees. When you go to the store to sign up for a plan, they'll say, hey, it's $40 to activate your phone on our network. What exactly are you paying for? We don't really know. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is that carriers don't often advertise this price because it's a total ripoff. They're just trying to pad their bottom line. But you can often get your uh, activation fee waived or just canceled completely if you sign up online. That's the good deal is you just go online, no activation fees. People in the store are not going to tell you that. Yep. They make commissions. Activation fees make no sense to me anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. The second thing we want to tell you about is that the advertised prices you see on cell phone plans often include an auto pay and paperless billing discount. It's usually between five and ten dollars. Um, so when you go into the store and they say, hey, it's fifty dollars a month, and you saw a price 45, that's why. Just make sure that you are always enrolling in auto pay and paperless billing. It also is better for you because you won't forget to pay your cell phone bill. Yeah, and just ask to make sure that the person you're signing up through, if you do go to the store, is giving you all the discounts that you're entitled to. Mm -hmm. Just ask, hey, what am I getting? Am I getting an auto pay discount? Make sure they include that. Yep, the next secret is insurance. It's it's worthless. You don't need it. It's a ripoff. Don't buy it. Okay, so, so why? Why not buy it? So just think about this. Let's say $12 a month. So we're paying a total of, let's say over 24 months. What's that? 200? 144 times two. All right, $288. So oh, that's, that's a lot of money per phone just to take a chance that we might break it. But then that would be a pretty good deal if it weren't for the deductibles, which are getting higher and higher and higher based on the price of the phones as they go up and up and up. So whereas before a deductible might have been $99, now it's $200, $250, $300 for a deductible on top of that $250 or $288 that you're paying up front. And you start to do the math and it's like, well, I'm paying $600 if I break my phone. Or I could just, in a year, the phone itself is gonna cost $600 on eBay or upgrade to a new one. Save your money, don't get that. Plans like Apple Care Plus are better because the deductibles are lower and it's a one-time fee up front. So carrier insurance is a ripoff. Yeah, and if you're concerned about your phone breaking, just get a case like this with raised edges so that way you can never fall flat in its face. The screen will never shatter. Yep. That's what we recommend. But do not buy your cell phone accessories in a store. They're overpriced. Um, and they're, the salespeople in stores are kind of pushy because they work on commission. So if they sell you a case and a cable and something else, they're going to get a percentage of that. So just be careful. Don't buy in the in stores. Buy online. Yeah. yeah, we met somebody at CES this year, last year, who told us that the true price of, I'm just not going to say which cell phone company it is that was selling these screen protectors, mm -hmm. was 29 cents for a screen protector that they were selling for $20. That is a ripoff. But if you think about it, a little piece of cardboard that it comes in and then this little piece of plastic, it makes sense that it would only be 30 cents to make in the millions. So really go to Amazon to buy extra accessories. Yes. Our next tip or it's really a secret. Avoid plans with overage charges. Uh, they're mostly a thing of the past now these days. A lot of plans, they'll just throttle your speeds after you've hit your high speed data allotment instead of charging you per the gigabyte or megabyte. Uh, but look out for plans that do have overage charges. They still do exist. And they're, they're pretty expensive in terms of how much they charge you. Sometimes it's $10 a gigabyte. Yeah. The prepaid plans are great because they can't get any more money from you than you've already paid them. That's my number one reason. I yep. mean, worst case scenario, if you were to travel overseas, your phone might stop working if you didn't, you know, because you know, they'd only have $35 for you. Yeah. But it's a really good deal to just, you know, get these prepaid plans because then, you know, you're not going to get $15 a gigabyte sometimes on Verizon, for mm -hmm. instance. Yeah. It's, oh, it's crazy. The overage charges. Similarly, don't get a pay as you go plan. Uh, they're overpriced. Uh, why would you pay for the minute or the message when there are plans that have unlimited minutes and messages for just $10 a month? Yeah. And, and so with these last two points, it's important just to make sure that you're not on a cell phone plan from 2010 still, because a lot of people are, they just don't change their plans yeah. and you could actually save money and get more features and eliminate hopefully overage charges 
You deserve that. You're worth it. Yes. Just by switching to a new plan. Yeah, you don't want that surprise bill at the end of the month. Yeah, but literally, people would come into the Apple store with bills for thousands of dollars because they traveled overseas and didn't know that they were going to get charged $10 a megabyte or something. So it's crazy. It can get up there. Yep, the next thing we want to talk about is high-speed data caps. Whether you get a prepaid plan or an unlimited plan, there's always a high-speed data cap. For the more premium unlimited plans these days, that cap is rising you know, to 100 gigabytes now. But once you hit that cap, your speeds will get slowed down. On a prepaid plan like the ones that we have, it's 6 gigabytes, and after that, your speeds get slowed down. Uh, just be careful of that, because you probably don't need more than 6 gigabytes a month. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to buy an unlimited plan if you're afraid of overcharges, because overcharges are mostly a thing of the past. Right. You put that very clearly, but just to reiterate, if it's a six gigabyte plan, there's a prepaid plan on Verizon, for instance, after you hit six gigabytes, it's just gonna be slower. Mm -hmm. No overcharges, unlimited data slower. If you get an unlimited plan for Verizon, if you get the most expensive one, I think it's 75 gigabytes. I think 75, right yeah. 75 gigabytes fast, and then slow down. So really, it's, it's a good idea just to get these prepaid plans because hardly anybody uses that six to most usually it's like 22 yep. range yeah and 75 is just more than anyone really needs so. yeah yeah because otherwise you're you know it's your home internet yeah if you're, yeah it doesn't make any sense the last thing we want to talk about is credit card extended warranties yep my credit card and yours might too have all these different features that are included like rental car insurance you know but a couple that are applicable to this video mm. are first off an extended warranty and, and i don't have some fancy credit card it's just a visa card Extended warranty. So what it does is it takes the manufacturer's warranty and doubles it. So a phone will have a one-year warranty. Now it's got a two-year warranty and they'll pay the bill if something breaks. And it also has an accidental damage clause. So if I break my phone for, I think it's the first 30 days, it might be the first 90 days, but if I break my phone right after I get it, they'll even replace it if it's smashed. So credit card, look at your credit card agreement and you probably have a bunch of features that you may not be aware of that take the place of insurance. Yeah. You just got to make sure you use that credit card to buy the phone. So those are some cell phone bill secrets. We highly recommend buying online. And we should also probably mention that carriers offer online exclusive deals as well. So you will be able to get some of these deals in store, like the AT&T 8 gigabyte prepaid plan. That's an only online deal. Yeah. Go online to buy your phone. No pushy salespeople. Mm -hmm. They're not going to try to upsell you everything and then you end up paying $200 a month for your cell phone bill. Also, like you know what you need in a cell phone bill. And it's faster. There's no waiting in line at the stores. No pressure. They mail you everything. It's free shipping. Then you send your stuff back if you're trading it in. It's super easy. Do it online. Yep. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.